Okay, this is how it all began. I was working at a high-end restaurant, making bank. They just demoted me to a busser after I'd worked there for so long for a bad cheesecake review. I am skating to work because I don't have a car. I run into the back of this lady's car so fucking hard. Broke my hand, side messed up, walking to work, hand totally like swollen. I was standing next to the bar, filled a Diet Coke up, and I just kind of like knocked it on accident with my fucked up hand. And it went in the ice bin. And right there, I don't know what happened. Something either shut off or switched on. I said, I'm done with this. I'm devoting my life to filming. A hundred percent. All the kids, you know, I noticed at 5 p.m. at Table Rock, they would all start jumping off this rock. So yeah, I'm sitting there this summer and I'm just like looking at that roof. Is it possible? Is it possible? Nobody has done it. I was like looking at it heavily for two years. So I said to my buddy, oh, let's just scope the fucking jump. Walk down to the beach, we look at the roof. I'm trying to get psycho. Walk up to the top, found the route, went up on the roof crazy in the head, you know? Jumped it. Just the biggest trip off my shoulder. Right then, my ego got a hold of me. I thought it was a professional. And that's when the bandana came on and I started like hitting shit. Every day was a mission. I love it. I love sneaking up top of roofs, being all secretive. There's a lot of scouting involved planning the whole run the night before, where you're gonna go. Just keep looking at it, just keep looking at it. And then you just keep looking at it and then it just gets stuck in your head. The whole process takes two minutes. You're in and out, people don't even know what the fuck happened half the time, dude. It's great, it's the best shit. Once I got arrested, it was a total bust. I was getting coffee in the morning. Like four like weird cars like kind of blocked the road and then guys started walking out my car and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And they got me. Millions of followers of the Laguna Niguel thrill seeker who goes by the moniker 8 Booth now have a mugshot to look at instead of a death-defying video clip. After posting bail, the extreme jumper left Laguna Beach jail. Anthony Armour has been charged with two counts of unauthorized entry and one count of trespassing. I hated them knowing my name. I loved it low-key. Is this going to stop you from doing what you love? Nothing will stop me from doing what I love, not even death itself. I didn't mean for the explosion to happen, you know? That shit was on its own. I hit these jumps and I named them on YouTube and they're calling them these names now. It's sick. I hate when people are thinking that I'm doing it for the views because when I'm like about to hit something that's savage as fuck, you could die from easily or, you know, shatter your feet. <laughs> I'm not thinking about fucking views. I'm thinking about making it to the water.
That drop was nuts. That was a six foot deep pool. I'm six four. Initial instinct in any situation like that. Get the fuck out of there. I crawled to the parking garage. Two guys were walking, I'm like, hey, I need some fucking help. I'm like, pick me up somehow, put me in the car. The pain is starting to get fucking wild. When they saw my feet, they were like, okay, needs major medical attention. So I took an ambulance from there to mission. I was just pushing myself to see what the fuck I could do. Nothing matters, but how content you are inside. A lot of people think it's stupid, but you know what? I think it's stupid to sit at a cubicle all day. When I hit a lot of the jumps, I was fucking mental. It's like transformed into someone else.